Good, so I'm gonna hopefully explain to you and now what I failed to do with the eyepiece because when I was at the eyepiece yeah I couldn't see my cursor so it made explaining what the hell was going on a little more difficult so expertly drawn here you have the earth in the foreground and you've got the stars up there and the earth's shadow now obviously you can't see the earth's shadow because it's just going off into space and yeah I can't see where the shadow is and where the light is because there's nothing to reflect it. Um, but over the period of a night, it's basically a fixture against the um, stars. So um, the stars appear to do something like this once per night. They rise in the east and set in the west. Uh, it's all an illusion, of course. Um, really, the only thing that's moving is the earth in the foreground the earth's actually spinning once per day that way but apparently what's happening is the the stars move that way or uh you know sunrise sunset moonrise moonset and all that sort of thing um so uh what happens with the moon of course is the moon goes around the sky once per month. Uh, so once every 28 days, the moon does this. And most of the time, the moon comes above the Earth's shadow or below the Earth's shadow, so there's no lunar eclipse. But what happened tonight is it actually just clipped the Earth's shadow like that. So at best, all of this was in the darkness, and about one oh, third of the moon or so. The dimensions are about right there for the Earth's shadow and the size of the moon. Obviously, if it was a total lunar eclipse, it would go through the middle like that or something. It, it, it takes a few hours. So what you saw tonight was basically that. But of course, whilst it takes several hours for the moon to do this, so... Um, What well, yeah, of course, over several hours, the the sky moves quite a lot. You know, the 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 sky will apparently move a significant distance over the period of several hours. So what you see at the beginning of the eclipse is something like this, where the moon is just about getting to the Earth's shadow. Um, and then for mid eclipse, um, it'll be, you know, the, the moon will have moved across to about here somewhere. And by the end of the eclipse, of course, um, the, the, the sky will have apparently moved all the way over here. It's not, none of the, it's all an optical illusion, of course. It's just the earth spinning in the foreground. And by the end of the eclipse, oops, that's what we were last looking at. Lifetime usage of electricity, wow. Okay, and by the end of the eclipse, uh, the moon's out here. So the moon apparently moves versus both the Earth's shadow and the stars in the sky. Um, and that's basically what you're looking at when you see a total or, or a lunar eclipse. And yeah, I've got to apologize once more for just what a catastrophe it was at the eyepiece tonight. Um, yeah, I'm just so bad when it comes to streaming. Although in my favor, OBS was, wasn't was being nice to me in that I was trying to run several cameras and uh, it kept dying on me. So... Uh, it would show me what one camera was doing, but it wouldn't let me switch to another camera, or if it wouldn't let me change the contrast setting on the camera, which kind of sucked. Anyway, I'll do my best to do best next time. Uh, thanks for bearing with me, and I hope you enjoyed that little explanation of what you're actually looking at when you see a total lunar eclipse.